hey everyone in this video you will be going to learn about a vs code plugin or extension that i have been using for my uh, blogging workflow for quite some time so the extension vs code extension that i'm going to talk about is related to markdown writing uh, in uh, vs code so the thing is um, uh, my blog is uh, uh, built on top of Jekyll, and uh, uh, this is my uh, this is my blog that is amitmanchan.com where I write about uh, things related to PHP, JavaScript, and everything in between. So as you can see, uh, these uh, uh, articles or posts are written in uh, Markdown underneath. So in Jekyll, you need to write it in Markdown. So all these uh, posts, for instance, this one, this particular one, has been written uh, in Markdown. So basically, uh, there is a, a specific set of rules uh, in Markdown that you need to uh, take into consideration when writing uh, a Markdown. For instance, you if you want to uh, add a link for on on top of uh, a text, you will need to write it in a specific syntax. Uh, for instance, if you want to uh, add, add, add in uh, a heading, for instance, this H2 heading, you will need to write it in a specific uh, uh, syntax. Likewise, there's a, a code block as well, and and similarly, there's a, a image as well. So, without uh, any sort of uh, extension, uh, this would be quite cumbersome uh, when uh, writing uh, in markdown so let me show you uh, how if i open up my vs code uh, this is how the markdown uh, layout of the posts look like so as i have i have shown you if when you want to uh, add a link on top of any a text you this is the syntax uh, using which you need you can add the link and this is a syntax using which you can add heading and uh, this is the syntax using which you can add the images so this is the image url over here which is relative this is the title of the image and uh, uh, this is uh, to make this image a uh, link likewise so without uh, any sort of extension this would be quite cumbersome as i had mentioned earlier so that's why i was kind of uh, uh, looking for an extension that can help me out uh, on this and uh, uh, this is where i found out this extension so the extension is called markdown all in one and uh, what uh, uh, does this extension do is uh, so when one once installed uh, it enables a set of uh, a set of uh, uh, shortcuts and a few other uh, uh, useful uh, utilities that you can use to uh, write markdown and which are really helpful and it has uh, improved my workflow quite uh, uh, quite drastically so let me show you uh, what is this what is this all about so once once installed uh, hold on so once installed uh, as you can see it it will enable a few shortcuts so let me just first show you the shortcuts which shortcuts uh, it uh, actually provides so these are all the keyboard shortcuts that will be enabled when installed so when you press ctrl b or command b it will uh, toggle uh, uh, it will make that particular text bold once uh, when selected uh, similarly control i will toggle the italics on the text uh, so control plus c plus closing uh, uh, the square bracket will uh, we will make the heading uh, uh, increase the uh, increase the size of the heading similarly it the control shift and uh, opening uh, square bracket will uh, decrease the heading uh, likewise and uh, this particular one control shift we will toggle the preview so when you press this uh, it will toggle the uh, and you will see the markdown preview for your uh, markdown likewise apart from these uh, uh, these are all the available commands 
uh, for uh, this particular extension that you can use for instance you can remove the section number or create table of contents or uh, uh, toggle list toggle math environment likewise so these are all the utilities that uh, this particular uh, extension provide and uh, these are really helpful so i am going to show you uh, some of the uh, shortcuts and some of the utilities that i have been using uh, uh, through this uh, particular extension so let me just open up uh, one of my posts over here so now let me just close this out so now the first uh, and foremost thing that this uh, extension does is uh, really simple is to format things so if i want to make this uh, uh, text for instance uh, bold so what i will do is i will just uh, let me just first enable this global screencast so i will just need to press ctrl b and it will make it uh, uh, bold and uh, then if i want to make this particular text as uh, uh, italic <coughs> all i need to do is control i and it will make it uh, italics italics now one of the most handy thing that it can do is to uh, effectively write uh, effectively write uh, lists for instance if i want to write list uh, like this for instance apple and now if i uh, press enter it will automatically uh, add uh, add it it will automatically add a dash and it will automatically indent from where we want to start our uh, next item so for instance i will uh, write it like orange okay and if i don't want to uh, start uh, uh, this particular uh, list item from here I, I can also uh, make it uh, a sub list as well and for that I just need to press a uh, tab so it will make it uh, the sub list automatically so this will make uh, as let's say banana and the next item will be on that particular level so all these has been uh, uh, done by this uh, particular uh, markdown all-in-one markdown uh, uh, extension so this is really helpful when writing the lists now one of my really favorite uh, one of my favorites uh, uh, favorite uh, uh, feature of this particular extension is to add links uh, uh, in markdown so for instance uh, if I want to add a link on this particular uh, text for instance all I need to do is I just need to grab a I need to just copy the link and uh, I just need to paste it sorry I just need to paste it on that uh, selected text and it will automatically adds the uh, link over here and that's it you don't need to manually uh, uh, wrap this text into uh, through these uh, brackets and the links uh, things will be automatically done using this uh, extension that is really handy so the next thing that it can do is let me first toggle that uh, screencast mode so next thing that it can do is uh, uh, it can show you the preview as well so for that you all you need to do is to use control shift and v and it will toggle the preview mode for this particular uh, markdown as you can see I have added this link over here I have make this a bold one and this is uh, let me show so yeah I have made this particular app, uh, text as uh, italics so now if I want to switch back to the editing more all I need to do is control shift V and uh, that is how it is done so yeah so yeah this is the extension that i i wanted to talk about and uh, it has been really helpful for me and i guess if you are uh, in need of kind of uh, uh, if you are looking for kind of uh, extension i think it is perfect for uh, this kind of workflow yeah so that's it for this video if you like it uh, subscribe to my channel uh, for uh, for to get notified about uh, 
this kind of videos and I will be uh, uploading so yeah that's it uh, see you guys in the next one bye